how to test gravity forms confirmation. You have the option of presenting them a confirmation message or directing them to another page when a user submits a form created in gravity forms. A message or a new page will be displayed to the user after they submit a gravity forms form. They will receive a simple message thanking them for submitting the form and informing them that it was successful. So we will show how to edit your confirmation message and create custom confirmation messages based on the content you submit in this video. Click Forms and the form's title to customize a confirmation message for a specific form. So go to Settings, then select Confirmations to access the confirmations. So a list of available confirmation will be displayed. So click on the tile of an existing confirmation if you want to edit it. Click the Add New button to add new confirmation. So let's try to add new. So the confirmation name, to make it easier to find the confirmation in the list of confirmations, the user does not see the name, so you have to add a name. Then you have the confirmation type. You have the text, page, and the redirect options. So the confirmation type text, with text confirmations, you can send the user a brief message after they submit a form. So this is the best and most widely used way to thank the user for their submission. So setting up a standard text notification is simple. Just write your confirmation message in the box below after selecting the text option. To add an image or a video, click the Add Media button. Enable the Disable Auto Formatting checkbox to prevent the text from automatically formatting. So the confirmation type page. So you can set a page on your website that the user will be taken to after submitting the form by using the page setting. So in the confirmation type options, select the page you want the user to be taken to from the page dropdown. So the confirmation type redirect. So the redirect option can be used to direct the user to another location such as an external site after submitting a form. Select redirect as the confirmation. Then fill in the redirect URL with the full URL you want the user to be redirected to. Merge tags should be added under pass field data via query string to make adding merge tags easier. There is a merge tag too next to this field like this. So I'm going to use the text confirmation type. So about the changing the default confirmation message, you will need to either um, edit the default confirmation or create a new confirmation with conditional logic enabled in order to display a custom misconfirmation message. If the logic fails on additional confirmations, the default confirmation will be used. So the default confirmation cannot be deleted, removed, or inactivated because the form must always process one confirmation. So customize the default confirmation if you want to use the same confirmation for all users who submit the form. So add as many new confirmations as you might need and set up conditional logic to display a different confirmation based on conditional logic. So the message, this is shown to the user after submitting the form. So here in the conditional logic, um, set more detailed conditions that must be met in order for this confirmation to display. Conditional logic is not supported by default confirmation. So after that, you have to save your confirmation and then you're done. That's all. Thank you for watching.